applications that are included with Iron Speed, we can. This is here. This is where we're going to do it. Iron Speed comes with code customization. Oh, okay. It's telling me that it can't run the code customization wizard until it's rebuilt the application. And that's fine. We're okay with that. We'll let it do its thing. All right, it's done. And now here's our code customization wizard. For those of you new to version 4.2.1, this is a new interface for the code customization wizard. New look, still the same dog underneath. So let's go ahead and get going. Iron Speed comes with pre-written code customizations that you can come in and select. And I'm just going to minimize each of these so you can get a quick view for customizations that are included in Iron Speed. And it looks like we've got some new customizations that are available in this latest version, which is exciting. I love how in each release of Iron Speed, we get more toys to play with. So here are all of the code customizations that we have available to us. We now have Ajax code customizations that are available. We have actions after add, edit, save, audit, button customizations, and you can expand these and look for the one you want to apply. I'm just going to go for something simple. Let's say email integration. I'm going to point out something that is very good to know as you're going through IronSpeed's code customization wizard. These code customizations aren't necessarily complete. What they're meant to do is to get you started. Some of them work completely all the way through. And I'm, what I'm not saying is that they're going to introduce errors into your application. What I am saying is that they're going to insert the code, the basic code, to make this functionality work. And you'll need to go in and add additional functionality if that makes sense for what you're trying to do. Always, always, always read this entire screen, this description in the code customization wizard. It may include steps that you manually need to carry out in order to make this customization work. You can also see a preview of the code that's going to be inserted into your application here. And um, obviously my 600 by 800 view is a little bit constrained. In an application open full window, this is a little easier to look at. So we're going to send an email when saving or updating data, and we're going to hit Next. And here it's asking us how we want to uh, fire this custom code. What's the event we want this code to be fired from? So we're going to have a button control, and I want it to be... Oh, I went a little too far. I want it to be fired on my Save button click event. So I've selected button control, I've selected save button, Iron Speed's going to configure these for us, and it's going to give a, oh, oops, excuse me, we need to tell it which record control we want to work with. And let's do it for the categories record control, and let's select the table, Southland MDB, categories. Now that we've configured each of these properties, Iron Speed will let us advance to the next window. And here, Iron Speed has completely customized this code it's going to insert by taking our selections for the Save button and the table we wanted to use, etc., etc. And now, when, a u when we insert this code and run our application, each time the user clicks the Save button, an email is going to be generated on the assumption that we've configured a few more properties in our application. I don't actually need to insert this code into the application, so I'm going to cancel out now. The purpose was just to demonstrate using the code customization wizard. Here is the code customization tutorial, and this is just going to link to the help file. It's additional reading for you if you're interested in doing code customizations. It's opening my web browser. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and minimize this back out of the way. Feel free to read that if you want. And here are additional code examples. Here's your application's code documentation and your base class documentation. View each of these on your own time. Highly recommend it. It's going to be time well spent. Here's our build menu. And the build menu is new in this, or excuse me, no, the build menu is not new in this version. But it has some new choices. I think each of these is fairly intuitive. 
build versus rebuild all, run application, run the current page. Maybe we are making changes in one page and we just want to run that page and see how it works. No problem. Uh, we've got some pre-compiled directives we can include. We can do some performance tuning here. This is where we can set our caching or our view state. And finally, we can run troubleshooting wizards, tracing and event logging. If we run our application and we get, uh, don't click this unless uh, you've been directed to from either Iron Speed support or help on the forums. Um, what this will do is just re-register the version of ASP, excuse me, the version of the .NET framework that you've selected for this application.